today, we're going to open the Geek Gear Limited Edition Toil and Trouble Box. So this is a limited edition box that they brought out for basically Halloween. So it's going to have a lot of fall vibes, Halloween vibes, things like that. I'm kind of hoping that because it's Toil and Trouble that maybe there will be some cauldron related items in here. Um, I'm sure they might have some kind of potion, but I just want to talk about the packaging. I love this box. I think it's really cute. I love how they have the little Skelligrow bottles and spiders, moons, pumpkins. It's really, really cute. So I'm really excited to get in this. It is a very heavy box, so it feels like there's a lot of things in here. So let's go ahead and get on into it. Okay, so right off the bat, he looks like we have our shirt, and it looks like it's Skelligrow. Let me open this up. Yes, it is definitely Skelligrow, and it is really cute. So we have the Skelligrow Bone Regenerator, and it says 1,100 drops, bona fide results every time, sold only by Rubens, Winnicus, and Company Incorporated. Super cute. I love the colors they chose for this one. I feel like they definitely have a Halloween vibe to them. And I like I like this line of shirts. It looks very similar to the style that they did the pumpkin juice shirt in and even the St. Mungo's shirt. So I, I really, really like this. Like the colors are fun. It's good. That's a good start to the box. Oh, I love that they did like purple and orange wiggly worms. Very cute. All right. So it looks like, I'm not sure what that is. Ooh, we got a bag. Okay, this is really cute too. So it says, bewitch the mind and ensnare the senses. And we've got our little cauldron down here and then all the different potions on the sides. This is really cute. I love this. Um, it's a really good sized bag too. It's not too tiny like some of the ones in their past boxes. So they've at least listened when we've said it was too small. So this is really cute. I like this a lot. Definitely will be a one that I take to like the farmer's market or even shopping. Ooh. Okay, so it looks like we got some dark mark socks. So we have a really nice white sock with the dark mark logo. These are super soft and a very nice tight weave on the sock. I kind of wish it wasn't a white sock though. I, because I feel like it's just going to look dirty after a couple wears. So I almost wish that it was a black sock with either a gray dark mark or a white dark mark. Or even a red, since that's what it technically was in the book. But these are nice. I think my husband will probably confiscate these. He's a Slytherin and he loves the dark mark on there, so I, I think those will end up going to him. Ooh, I think we got a pin. It says... <laughs> follow the spiders and it's got an acromantula on there let me open this up so you can see it better so this is really cute I don't know if you guys are going to be able to tell but the purple is actually like a metallic swirled enamel so that's really really cute it's a big pin too I mean you know comparative to most pins that's a that's a pretty big one that's cool okay very Halloweeny. definitely fits the vibe what are these I'm not sure what that is, but the packaging is super cute. Like, look at the little pumpkins and cauldrons on here. They did a really nice job with packaging on this one. Let me see what these are. Okay, let's see. If I can get the box open. There we go. Oh, I think they're coasters. Okay, so we have a Thestral with the Carriage. Buckbeak with Hagrid's Hut and the Pumpkin Patch. Ooh, we have an assortment of potions with Skelligro being front and center. And then we have Dementors with the Castle. That's really cool. I love they did four different designs and they didn't just do all the same design on the coaster. Those are fun. And they have a cork back, which is nice, so they're not going to like slide all over the place. These are really fun. See what this big box is. So it looks like it has pumpkin juice on the front. Cocktail from Concentrate. It's heavy, um, so I'm assuming it's just like a replica bottle. Hmm, it's ripped on the top. 
Okay, so we've got a little box inside here. Okay, yes, it must be pumpkin juice because we have a little pumpkin stopper here. And we have our pumpkin juice bottle. So it's a heavy resin style bottle. It's a good size. The stickers are not placed on real well. But the actual design of it is is good. We actually made pumpkin juice on here a couple years ago. Um, I gave you a prop version as well as a drinkable version. If you haven't checked that video out, I highly recommend it. I'll put it at the end of the video so you guys can see it. Because the pumpkin juice in there tastes just like the one in the Wizarding World, which I really like. I, I like butterbeer better than pumpkin juice, but I, I do like the pumpkin juice. So let's see what it looks like with the... Oh, so the stopper doesn't really stay on. It's just kind of on there so it's cute I just don't think it was executed as well as it could have been they could have put something to just make that a little snugger in there and I feel like the stickers could have been placed on a little bit better but it is a nice replica and it does make sense for this time of the year Ooh, pumpkin pasties I love pumpkin pasties Okay, so these, this feels heavier like it's not actually food, so I'm wondering what they have in here. Which I'm glad it's not food. I'm really not a huge fan of when they put food in these boxes. Ooh. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> so we got a little pumpkin pasties, like, chalkboard easel sign. That's so cute. So I will definitely be using this to put next to my plate of pumpkin pasties to let people know what it is but I love that it looks like a little easel chalkboard that's very clever this is nice and heavy duty too they did a nice job with this that's so fun okay I really like that I will definitely be using that I'll try to post a picture on Instagram because I think I'm going to make some pumpkin pasties for Halloween so I'll definitely put that next to my plate Ooh, what is this Oh, <laughs> Wandering with Werewolves by Gilderoy Lockhart. So I don't know if you guys can see the cover, but you've got like a wizard in a cloak and then the werewolf. Okay, this is super, super, super cute. Wandering with Werewolves. So it says, another astonishing true story from the heroic, brave, and courageous Gilderoy Lockhart. During his time in the Australian city of Wagga Wagga, he came across the most ghastly beast, a werewolf. It was all down to gallant Gilderoy to save the local people from such a ferocious beast. His companions on the trip were so engulfed by fear, they lost their minds. Yeah, sure they did. As part of Lockhart's collected works, this book tells just one of the many successes in magic, traveling, and defense. Also available to purchase, Magical Me, 27 weeks atop the Daily Profit bestseller list. This is at Flourish and Blots for five galleons. And it's got... And it's got Wandering with Werewolves on the spine of the book as well. So... Okay, so it is just a notebook. It's not an actual, like, book. That would be super impressive if it was. But I love this. This will be so cute with all of my other stuff, like as a textbook that's just sitting on the shelf. This is really nice. Good job, Geek Gear. This might be one of my favorite items in the box for sure. Okay, lots of wiggly worms. Okay, we have our cheat sheet here. I don't want to see that yet. Looks like we got a piece of art. Okay, so we got a piece of art of uh, Nearly Headless Nick. It looks like it's done in watercolor, I think. But I like how they made Nick go past the white frame of the picture. And I think it's by A.C. Blake, which I think, if I remember correctly, um, I think they sometimes call him Tony, but I think his name is Anthony. So we've had a couple pieces from him before. He's a really talented artist, but super cute. So I kind of wish that they were how, like, each house got their own ghost, but it makes sense because he had his death day on Halloween. Um, so Nearly Headless Nick is definitely appropriate. 
this is super fun. I don't know that I'll actually frame it and put it up just because it doesn't necessarily go with all my stuff, but that is really cute. And I probably am going to have an art sale of some kind coming up where you guys can potentially get some of the prints that you see on here that you like and maybe would go great with your collection. Okay, so I think... Yeah, looks like that's everything. Let me go ahead and read the cheat sheet here. And the artwork on this cheat sheet is super fun. They did a really nice job with the whole theming of this box. Like all of the little packages and everything are really, really fun. But I love the cauldron, witch hat books, pumpkins, brooms. Super, super cute. All right. It says, hello, pumpkins. A massive thank you from the team here at Geek Gear for purchasing the Geek Gear Limited Edition Toil and Trouble Box. Something wicked this way comes. We have carefully designed this spooktacular box to bring magic straight to your door. Inspired by pumpkins, skeletons, creepy crawlies, and more. To all of your fellow geeks, wizards, and witches out there, thank you for being a part of our ever-growing family. Okay, so we had the Skelegro advertisement t-shirt, and I love that shirt. We have the Ghost Portrait by Tony Blake. Okay, so I was right. So it has on here, go show him some love on Facebook at Ant Black Art and Instagram at Tony Blake Art. So definitely go check out his work. Um, like I said, the other stuff that we've had in these boxes that were made by him were really, really nice. Then we have the Wandering with Werewolves Notebook. Love this. This might be my favorite item in the box because I just think it's super unique and I love how they executed it. We have the set of four spooky coasters, villainous socks with the dark marker on there. We have the pumpkin juice bottle replica, which I think is, is a good replica, but I, I just wish it was executed just a little tiny bit better. Then we have the mini pumpkin pasties menu board. Love, love, love that. I will definitely be putting that next to the plate of pasties. The follow the spiders pin and the potions tote bag, which I really liked the tote bag too. So, I, I mean, I think they did a great job. They did a nice job of balancing all of the different um, Halloween aspects from the Wizarding World as well as just like fall vibes. So I think they did a nice job of Balancing everything out and the packaging and everything on this is super, super cute. So I I think this was a great box. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And if you guys like this video, give me the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And we will catch you guys later. Thanks so much.